working on the placing the bottom spar on the plans as you can see I labeled that uh, the top spar is right here each one is a different length so for me I label it so that I don't make any mistakes and place the wrong one on the wrong side last thing you want to do is have to unglue or try to rip apart a piece that you measured improperly and then try and remove that especially from something as fragile as ribs because uh, ribs I feel that by themselves aren't very strong and if you have to remove something from them you could you will probably break them or crack them and to repair them is not the best option you really probably would have to make a new one just to be sure you keep the structural integrity intact and this is a perfect example of where the magnets far outweigh using T-pins typically with a spar installation you might have a spar web that has to go in such as this well the problem with that with T-pins you can't place T-pins really in here because this has to go flush and lay on top of the spar so you can't provide any kind of holding strength through here and that causes a problem you could per perchance put T-pins through the side of the spar but because we're working with a hardwood uh, basswood spar uh, that will end up probably cracking it and that's just defeating the purpose of the strength of it in this case the magnets are a perfect way to hold this in place and we can hold it down as well. Uh, we're going to do that. As you can see, I've put magnets on each side of the spar. That's not going to impede the installation or the uh, uh, ribs being placed on here as well. And on top of that, I've got, like I showed you, I've got the magnets that I'm using as clamps to give me a side to side holding force. And that's going to keep my spar aligned. And plus, if I need to, I can add more magnets. If this has any warp, I can place the magnets to align this better. Okay, uh, this is a perfect example of why you have to be willing to compromise or improvise. And in this case, I decided to not use this as a holding clamp for downward pressure. I didn't feel it was doing a good enough job with just one magnet on one side. I could put another magnet on the other side, but instead, I'm just going to circumvent this. I instead decided to opt for using a vertical press with four magnets, which is going to give me a great amount of holding force. So this is more of what I'm looking for, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad I decided to change it. I can align this the way I want it, and now I can place two magnets on each side of here as well to give me that side to side holding power, clamping it this way, and I've got this vertical press, which is now pushing down on the end of this bar, keeping it flat to my building surface. I'll add another one to the end of here, with two clamps on the side, and then I'll hold these in like I showed before, with the side to side clamping force. And that'll give me confidence knowing that I've got exactly what I need to keep this bar in place while I construct the wing center section without any kind of type of movement whatsoever. So we'll move on from there.